Magic and Metallurgy, two arts that manipulate the natural world to turn into something greater. While some may scoff at the idea of combining the two, for others it was a wonder it hadn't happened sooner. Hello everybody, I'm Tabletop Nephilim and today I present the Tome of Metal. This spell supplement is full of spells for those of you who wish that cast iron was actually a thing. Also, full honesty, a few of the early spells in this supplement are 100% inspired by the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. So without further ado, let's start with the cantrips. Steel Shot, a transmutation cantrip. You fire a piece of non-magical metal at a creature or object within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes 1d12 piercing damage. While this is obviously meant to represent a coin shot, you don't actually have to use money for this cantrip. A ball bearing or a rusty nail will do. Weld, Transmutation Cantrip. You weld two pieces of non-magical metal together. The spot that is welded can be no longer than one foot in any dimension. Tired of arguing with your DM on whether or not mending can weld stuff together? Well, here you go. Spread Shot, First Level Transmutation. You launch shrapnel from your hands in a 15-foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw, taking 3d8 piercing damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Basically a shotgun blast, I'm not sure about the damage on this one, you might need to be tweaked. Push and Pull, First Level Transmutation. Buckle up, this is the big one. As an action, you can target a manufactured metal object you can see within 60 feet of you. You can push that object away, pull it towards you, or push yourself away, pull yourself toward it. You or the object move 30 feet in a straight line based on the following criteria. Object is the same size class as you. You can either push or pull the object, or push or pull yourself. Object is a size class lower than you. You can only push or pull the object. If you pull an object that is tiny, you automatically catch it if it reaches you. If the object is being worn or carried by a creature, the creature must make a strength saving throw. If the object is being carried, the creature lets go of the object on a failed save. If the object is being worn, the creature is pushed or pulled with it on a failed save. Object is fixed to a wall, ceiling, or floor, or is the size class larger than you. You can only push or pull yourself. An object you push or pull falls to the ground after moving the full distance. You or an object you push or pull stop early if either impacts a solid surface. If you or the object would strike a creature, that creature must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, you or the object strike the target and stop moving. When you, the object, strike something, you, the object, and what it strikes each take 3d6 budgeting damage. If you would strike a surface other than the ground, you can make a strength saving throw with a DC of 12. On a success, you brace yourself on impact and avoid the damage. This was the hardest spell in the entire supplement to figure out, and hopefully I did it justice. Iron Sights, second level divination. For the duration of the spell, you are able to sense the location and size of any manufactured metal object within 30 feet of you. This spell does not reveal what the object is. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by 3 feet of wood or dirt, 1 foot of stone, 1 inch of common metal, or a thin sheet of lead. And that is the last of the spells inspired by Mistborn. Rust Metal, 3rd level transmutation. You target a non-magical metal object you can see within range. The object begins to corrode over the spell's duration. If the object is a weapon, shield, or a set of armor, it takes a permanent and cumulative negative 1 penalty to its damage rolls or AC when you cast the spell and at the start of each of your subsequent turns. A weapon that drops to a negative 5 penalty, armor that drops to a negative 10, or a shield that drops to a plus 0 bonus is destroyed. If the object is not a weapon, shield, or a set of armor, this spell destroys a 1 foot cube of it when you cast this spell and at the start of each of your subsequent turns. Finally, all the destructive power of our Rust Monster. Create Arms and Armor, 4th level Conjuration. You conjure non-magical weapons and armor within a 20 foot cube space within range that disappear after the spell's duration. The total value of all weapons and armor created cannot exceed 10,000 gold pieces. If you have the materials available to craft the weapons and armor, you can spend an hour casting the spell to create them permanently. Casting the spell in this way consumes the materials. This is a spell made for those situations where you've got to arm a lot of people really quickly. Now obviously this spell has some serious campaign breaking implications, but I did my best to craft it in a way that limits that as much as possible. Mechanize 5th level transmutation. Your body temporarily takes on a mechanical form through arcane science. For the duration of the spell, you gain the following benefits. Whenever you are subjected to lightning damage, you take no damage and instead regain hit points equal to half the lightning damage dealt rounded down. Your AC increases by plus 2. Your weapon attacks are magical, can use your spellcasting ability modifier instead of strength or dexterity, and deal an additional 1d8 lightning damage on a hit. You have resistance to poison and psychic damage. What can I say? I like transformations and I wanted Artificer to have one. Steel Shape, 5th level transmutation. You touch a metal object of medium size or smaller, or a section of metal no more than 5 feet in any dimensions, and form it into any shape that suits your purpose. For example, you could shape an anvil into a weapon, an idol, or a wash basin, 
or make a small passage through a wall as long as the wall is less than 5 feet thick. You can also shape a metal door or its frame to seal the door shut. The object you create can have up to two hinges and a latch, but finer mechanical detail isn't possible. It's stone shaped but with metal. What do you want? Steel Skin, 5th level transmutation. The spell turns the flesh of a willing creature as hard as steel. Until the spell ends, the target has immunity to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. It's stone skin but better. What do you want? And there you have it, the Tome of Metal. If you'd like to try the spell supplement out for yourself, it is available on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later!